Shaman from their EP. Before that, Invisible Future by Strange Let from And You Will Never Be the Same. Something in Cyrillic by Reconquista. And starting it off, Enigma <coughs> by Epsilon from their album Zero. I'd like to thank you so much for checking out this episode of Over Metal Cat. I remind you it's the bands that make this show possible. So I have their shows, buy a t shirt, buy an album, buy a beer for them at the next show. Whatever it takes, let them know that you care and that you heard it here on OpenMetalCast.com, where you can also check out every episode, back to episode number one, as well as Instrumentalcasts, Club Metalcasts, interviews with bands, and much, much more. That's at OpenMetalCast.com. Also be sure to check us out over at MetalInjection.net, where you can hear this and other great podcasts, as well as interviews with bands, music, news, videos, and much, much more. That's at MetalInjection.net. And be sure to check out their streaming service over at MetalInjection.fm, where you can hear musical selections by myself as well as the other Metal Injection crew. Check out the schedule and learn more over at MetalInjection.fm. I'd like to finish off the show with something a little different. This is Transmarano. Thank you.
Jones. Open Metal Cast, bringing you the best and greatest comments in most metal bands. My name is Craig Long. Recently, we got the chance to speak with Tony C., the band adjudicator, one of the founding members of the label Masters of Metal Productions. Masters of Metal Productions started off as a label offshoot of the Masters of Metal Forum and has grown into a much larger metal music label. Talk to Tony about the band adjudicator, the beginnings of Masters of Metal Productions, and how the label Adjudicator's two-man project. It's myself and vocalist John Yellen, who is also from the band Dysphoria out of Utah, uh, Salt Lake City specifically. And uh, then we also have a few guest musicians, including uh, Brian Edwards, formerly of Seven Kingdoms, who is also kind of like the CEO of Masters of Metal Productions. And then our producer, Cameron Allen, who is uh, from somewhere on the other end of the country that I don't want to draw band. <laughs> And uh, he's, he's our uh, producer slash mixer, master, studio whiz guy. Awesome. So how'd you guys meet? Uh, John and I met at a Blind Guardian concert in 2010. They were on tour in America with Seven Kingdoms and Holy Grail. And uh, I had gone to the show super early because I was going to hang out with my buddies in Seven Kingdoms. So I was there at like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, I see this kid sitting out in front of the door, in, you know, in the middle of, sitting outside in the middle of Arizona. And I'm like, what are you, what are you doing out here, man? And he's like, well, I drove down from Salt Lake City, and we didn't know how long it was going to take, so, you know, I'm just here really early. And I'm like, well, you, you want to come hang out with us and watch Soundcheck or something? And so he comes and he hangs out, and we eventually obviously get to talking. And he's, he's like, yeah, I'm in a band. In, uh, in Salt Lake City, it's called Dysphoria, and we play like power prog metal, and I'm like, oh, that sounds really cool. So he hands me a demo, and uh, I, I was listening to it on the way back from the concert, and I was just blown away by how freaking talented this guy is, and just like his amazing set of pipes. So, we, you know, we got to networking on the internet, and six or seven months later, uh, I was recording a Halloween cover, the song Ride the Sky, and uh, I was like, man, I really wish I had somebody to sing this on there and he's like I'll sing it for you and I was like holy crap yes <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and then he sings it and he like totally knocks it out of the park just like ridiculous and uh so basically so I'm like dude we need to record an album like yesterday and uh so basically the band was just born from there and we decided to uh to do it in that old kind of speed metal style because that's how we met Right. Yeah. I can think of no no better speed metal type of band. Yeah. So you, you've released a single, uh, which has got kind of a strange theme. Tell us a little bit about it. Uh, our most recent single is called Heroes and Villains. Uh, it is a survey of classic British literature because it was actually started as a class project, which was for a British literature survey class. And uh, so basically this class had a really open-ended final to it, and the final was basically demonstrate the themes and knowledge that you learned from six or more of the texts in the class. And I was like, well, creative, that's really open-ended, so what do I do when I want to do something creative? Well, I record power metal. And uh, so basically I got to writing this like 12-minute song and, uh, and all these lyrics about these various different texts, and I... I was like, this really is starting to sound exactly like our second album is, is going to sound. And so I sent it off to John. I'm like, hey, would you mind, you know, take some time and, and sing this song for me? And he sends it back to me, and we're like, this sounds exactly like Judicator. So we probably just released this song publicly. And so we did, and it's, it's gotten a really a good reaction, which is kind of funny because I got paid for it. <laughs> but what all was that? Um, uh, as far as the lyrics goes, the text involved are Beowulf is the big one, that starts and ends the song, and kind of was like, 
like the old road, being we were going for, and then uh, also a certain way in the Green Knights from Arthurian legend. Uh, Dr. Faustus takes up the kind of evil breakdown -y part where I get in there and I do some screaming, because what's more evil than screaming? And, uh, <laughs> and then also the, the morality play Every Man, and uh, the Fairy Queen, which is a 27 or 28 volume book series from like the 1500s that we narrowed down to about four lines of text. And uh, it's a book version, right? <laughs> yeah, ex exactly. And uh, so, well, I mean, it's, it's it's kind of all the same throughout it. It's just really long. I only read like the first two books, and I was like, I can't handle any more of this. <laughs> and, uh, and, I, and I'm like, I love reading in, in literature, and I was just like, this is too much. Right. But um, after that comes uh, also Twelfth Night by Shakespeare and to Heroes and Villains by Dedicator. I kind of forgot that I was recording and just listening to that interview. Craig and I recently had a uh, discussion about Judicator, so I was particularly interested. 